morning guys it's Sunday morning kids are off to church I ran down to Atwoods and picked up some degreaser to clean the driveway after yesterday's skid steer incident which I still haven't looked into I'm hoping and praying it's a hydraulic hose and not a motor but this machine was ready to go and I went to move it and I lost the whole right side motor it started click 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 and that was the end of it and as a result it dumped hydraulic fluid over the entire driveway so I've already done the kitty little thing and swept most of it up but I bought two gallon jugs of super clean and it's supposed to be biodegradable so we're gonna spray the driveway down first I'm gonna blow it off get the loose stuff off we're gonna spray it down let that soak in and I'm gonna start pressure washing it and cleaning it off with my surface washer and this is what I intend on putting it on the driveway with I'm gonna go ahead and use this stuff up in the flower bed I'm just gonna dump it out sprinkle it around then I'm gonna fill it with the super clean and use the hose to spray it around and on the concrete and let it soak in so let's get started pretty good all right we're gonna let that soak in for a little bit and we're gonna get this mower out here and see just what it needs I know one thing it needs is the fuel cap it's either missing the gasket or something but it's way too loose and it pops off while it's running and it may not even be the correct one yeah, I think it's missing the rubber. It's supposed to be a seal on that. But that's fine. We got to take that off anyways. Let's get some gas in it and see what it's going to do. This will be our little will it run video on this 
free push mower. Of course, right after I just filled it up. So let's go get some stuff to. truck oh never mind we're not gonna go to the truck because the truck ain't here let me go get a I don't think I need that off I think I can do the seven on that I think that's seven yep I think I do have to have that off, I remember. I'm not going to tear it up. Hang on just a second. Normally, I just get an Allen socket, but this bolt will work too. Mm. There we go. It just takes like a quarter turn to get it off. Then I think, it's been a while since I worked on one of these. Mm. Float's working. Okay, I think it just had some water in it. We're going to blow all this thing out. Call it good. Okay, so let's put this back in there. Boom. That's done. These can come apart. I've taken them apart before, a bunch of them, but it's been a long time. I want to say you have to turn that half a turn or so, a quarter turn to get them off. But I have had some that had so much old junk in them, trash, that I cleaned them out and they work fine without ever having to buy any parts. All 
All right. Now, we're gonna put that back on, but before we do, let's verify we're getting the gas out. Oh, oh, I don't know what that is, but that ain't gas. Let's let that run a little while. That's a lot of water, for sure. I think we're finally getting to some gas. Yep. Okay. So, we need to get... We're going to do all this in reverse. Put that on. Ah. Put that on. that on and that on and there's a blade of grass in that overing that don't need to be there Put our fuel plant back on Let's try it like that. I think it should run, but we're gonna go ahead and try it before I put all this stuff back on it. Guess I gotta pull that carburetor back off. We're also gonna put a little, let's put a little Lucas in there first. It don't take a lot, it just takes about that's a perfect amount. That's the exact amount it's supposed to have. Still be dazzled a little bit. It'll be alright. Okay. shutting off now so I imagine it has something to do with the kill switch wire come off or something let's get that off it has left the premise at some point and then I think we're going to do some surface cleaning because I think that stuff soaked in long enough You know, you have to either find or make a washer for this. I don't know, you may be able to buy that gas cap. I think that'll fix that. Oh, yeah. The wire's not even attached anymore. Durr. Okay. Ow, that's hotter than shit. Hmm. Probably another reason they got rid of this thing because they couldn't shut it off. Alright. So, that's back on there. And if this will start and run like it's supposed to, it shuts off. We'll go ahead and put the air cleaner and stuff back on it. But before I start it again, I'm going to find that gas cap. 
It's just just sloshing fuel out everywhere. And I may have to put a touch of Lucas back in because now we just dumped out whatever Lucas had already had. And we'll put the pull starter back up in the handle where that goes. Here we go, let's try it again. I didn't even check the blade and see how sharp or dull it was. Man, perfect. Yeah, I definitely got to do something with that. I think I might have one. Okay, it ain't the exact one I need. It's a little bit bigger than what's supposed to be, but I think it'll take up the slack. And it don't. No, it definitely needs to go inside. I'm assuming it fits in there and seals, not out here. Well, crap. I'll go look for one later. But I am going to leave that on there because it will help nothing. It will help nothing at all. Let's go back in there and try again. Okay, so I have zero nothing that will fit that. So, we're going to go ahead and run it like that for just a little bit. And see how it does. See how it mows. And then I'll find a cap later. Alright. Well, there you have it, guys. I still got to get an air filter for it, the gas cap, and I need to find a, a chute. It's not a have to thing or a bagger either, but if I find a bagger, I still got to have a cap to go over that. But, you can see. It mows just fine. Does what it's supposed to. This side is a little higher because I had a set of wheels on the concrete, but actually does really good. So that'll do it for this video, guys. That was a quick little will it run on a free I say push mower, it's a self-propelled. Oh, and I am gonna have to take this cover off. It's not hundred percent done because that belt. Whatever drives them front wheels is not really grabbing. It won't push. It won't pull the mower very hard. It should pull it a lot harder than that. And I'm still having to pretty much push it. Not that I'm opposed to having to push it like I'm a big wiener. But it's self-propelled. And that part's obviously not working. So, now we're going to fire up the pressure washer. And we're going to clean up this driveway or see if we can clean it up. So... Hang tight.
anyhow guys y'all get the gist of it that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching um, go check out my channel and of course like always if you haven't already subscribe hit that notification bell so whenever i do upload something it'll it'll let you know so you can go check them out but anyways I'm going to call it good for now and try to finish up this driveway, and I will see y'all on the next one. Later. Peace.